on the 11th of May, we were on just Lancaster's locally uh, further training. But on the 19th of May, we had our first operation, which to the marshal in the yards at Orleans. time there and back, five hours and fifteen minutes. Right. We then had to prepare for the next one by an air test. The next operation which was on the 24th of May, which was the marshalling yard at Arkham, right on the border, five hours and five minutes. One or two and they had brushes with, with fighters and uh, we were coned in, uh, coned in searchlights and uh, that's not a good experience. <laughs> but uh, the pilot was an excellent pilot, he, he could throw the Lancaster about. And he just shouted to me, full revs. So we opened the throttle wide open. He dived down as fast as he could go and then swung over to either the right or left starboard or port. And we escaped the searchlight, but it's quite a. I mean, they, if you got you in the searchlight, they had prediction guns which would home on you. And they had uh, heat seeking shells as well. So uh, he said, I'll tell you what, he got onto the, all of the crew and he said, You've got to make a decision. You can either bail out, in which case you'd be prisoners of war, or we can try across the try and get across the channel, and if necessary we'll have to ditch. What do you want to do? Universal decision. We'll try and get across the channel. We did shoot down two or three night fighters, which was quite something, because you rarely saw a night fighter. The big thing about Manor was how appreciative the Dutch were that it was carried out. And when they saw the food drops in Rotterdam, they knew that now the war was at an end. Because it was not only the fact that uh, there was food coming for the people, no, it also meant that when these aircraft that we have heard and seen for four years at a very high altitude at night and during the day are now so low that we can actually see the air crew sitting in the planes waving at us. Well, the Germans now must be at the brim of defeat to allow them to do that. So it was also a morale boost. And it also meant, as far as my mother was concerned, that food is food and when it's on your plate you eat it full stop. Whether you like it or not, it's food. And food cannot be bad because it's food. 